Hey guys, Brendan Fry here, National Wealth Center Team Elite Domination. This is day number six of my 30 day video marketing bootcamp series where I bring you 30 days of valuable content, information about the National Wealth Center business, about my team, about how I run my business, all this free information coming at you for 30 days straight and this is day number six. Today I'm going to talk about National Wealth Center and is National Wealth Center a scam? Now I don't ever, I don't think I've ever really been asked this question, is National Wealth Center a scam? But it is a popular search phrase on the internet, you know, in the different search engines, YouTube and Google. And so I thought this would be a good video to shoot to provide that information for people who are looking that, that phrase up or trying to find out if the National Wealth Center is a scam. So first of all, I want to say that there's a lot of terms that seem to be used interchangeably that really should not be. Um, there is the Ponzi scheme, the pyramid scheme, uh, scam, and a lot of these terminologies, a lot of these terms are being thrown about recklessly and a lot of people don't really do the research to find out what are these things. So I'm going to go over that really quick with you just to explain what they are. And in fact, when I started in the business, I didn't know. It's only been in the last year when I've heard people ask these questions or I've seen, uh, due to research, seen people posting other videos and stuff that a lot of people don't really understand what they are. So I'll go ahead and explain those really quick for you. So a pyramid scheme, there's actually nothing illegal, there's nothing wrong with a pyramid structured business and I always thought there was because I heard people use that term loosely when explaining online businesses and stuff like that and there's, there's really nothing wrong with the pyramid structured business. In fact, corporate America, most you know American corporations are structured in a pyramid structure. Uh, the CEO at the top making the most amount of money, I won't say doing the least amount of work, but doing the um, making the most amount of money then you have the COOs or board of directors people um, then you have area supervisors regional managers it just goes on down and there's more and more employees as you go down and then you have the people doing the brunt of the work um, that are the store clerks the customer service people they're doing probably the most work and getting paid the least that is a pyramid structured business where you got the CEO at the top and everybody else underneath now there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. In fact, that's what we go to school for, you know, and that's what they teach in our educational system is that you go, you know, you get an education, you get a degree, you get out there and they promise you this this great job where you're earning X amount of dollars and you got the reti retirement or pension to look forward to and um, all these benefits that come along with it. What we're finding now is that these pensions and retirements and all this are pretty much non-existent anymore. In fact, our healthcare system is pretty much non-existent in the U.S. anymore. Um, but you know that's the way corporate America is structured, and there's really nothing, there's nothing wrong, or I should say, there's nothing illegal about it. You know that's what we were taught to do from day one, really, is to to follow along with that structure. So it's funny when people come into a network marketing business and they want to know, is it one of those pyramid thingies? Because they're probably already in a pyramid thingy. You know they're already probably in a pyramid structured business and they don't even know it. So it's kind of it's kind of entertaining for me. But I wish people would do more research to find out exactly what that is because they seem to think there's something wrong with it, but they're in one. Uh, the second thing I'll mention is Ponzi scheme. Now a Ponzi scheme is highly illegal, and um, we uh, if you watch the the show American Greed, most probably 99% of the shows are about Ponzi schemes where. It's like an investment um, opportunity where you're putting your money into something and you're getting more out of it. And what they do is it, there's not enough money to keep up. Um, they've got all these people investing money into it and they can't keep making the payouts because there's not enough money coming in to make the payouts. That's a Ponzi scheme and really has nothing to do with network marketing at all. Um, there are some rev share companies that could probably be looked at as Ponzi schemes, um, but those are usually quickly shut down by the FCC um, and the Security Exchange Commission, um, they they quickly shut those things down because uh, there's enough people that are going to be out there complaining about it and not getting their money back. So anyway, that's a Ponzi scheme, which really I think is in left field with what we're talking about today. It doesn't have anything to do with network marketing. Um, it's more about investments. One more term I will throw out there is multi-level marketing. Now that's another term. You know, there's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Amway, Tupperware, Mary Kay, all these companies are built. Uh, on a multi-level marketing uh, pay plan. This means that you know you get paid commissions um, on down the line, a certain percentage of commissions from your entire organization. Where your first pay line you may make 20%, the next line maybe 10%, you know the people they referred into it, and then the people they referred into it you may make 5% on that level three or level four. Um, that is a multi-level marketing company. 
Again, nothing wrong with it whatsoever. And if you watched my video from yesterday where I was talking about the National Wealth Center Compensation Plan, you'll see how we are different from a multi-level marketing um, business. I'll leave a link right here so you can um, on this video so you can see that video from yesterday so you can learn more about the compensation plan. But yeah, we are actually, if you want to look at it this way, it's more of a bilinear pay structure where it's really just your pay line and your sponsored pay line, if you want to look at it that way, because those are the only levels you should really be concerned about. Um, your people, you know, they're going to pass up sales to you. That's your pay line still. You know, you're not getting paid on your members' members or their members' members or anything like that. So it doesn't go down multiple levels like a traditional multi-level marketing business. Again, you can look at the video from yesterday to see more information about that. Now, a lot of people are really more confused, I think, when they're looking at joining National Wealth Center or any other network marketing business. They're confused because their entire life they were brought up thinking that they needed to trade time for dollars. You got to work hard for what you got, and and all of this. And and you know, I agree that you need to work hard for for what you get. You you should really put in effort to whatever you're doing, whether it's a job or your own business, whether that's bricks and mortar or online. You're still gonna have to work hard but you don't have to trade time for dollars. And like I was mentioning before, our educational system, it was created to, to, you know, to create jobs and to help our economy um, and to just feed people into somebody else's business and somebody else's dreams. Where with network marketing, you can create your own dreams. You can earn residual income, where that means you work for it once and you're paid on it over and over and over again. You know, and even the promises of these pensions and, and retirement plans and you know these medical benefits or vacations all this stuff they're not like they used to be and I think if, if anybody's still in corporate America you probably know this to be true more than anybody but you know those dreams and the, that time of, of working hard and getting you know the payoff at the end of the day and and being able to retire at 60 or whatever those days are pretty much long gone and we're starting to wake up to this I mean there's 13 million network marketers in the US alone, and those are actually numbers from last year, I believe, so it's even more than that now. There's something like 125,000 network marketers uh, joining, an org joining a network marketing business every single week in the US alone, okay? And National Wealth Center is a worldwide opportunity, so the numbers, <laughs> our market's even bigger. But this is an ever-growing industry. I mean, we are actually the second, or the, we are the highest paying industry right behind professional sports. So if that tells you anything, you know, there's billions and billions of dollars in revenue each year uh, in network marketing alone. Um, so there's a lot of people taking advantage of this way of life. You may know some of them. Um, so it's just really up to you whether you want to continue working the 9 to 5 route or if you want to create your own freedom, your own success, and have your own business where you choose your own hours. It's really, there's, you know, two different ways to do it. Create your own dreams or work for somebody else's dreams. Now another term that gets thrown around out there that I should have mentioned is a cash gifting program. Cash gifting programs, I don't want to say whether they're, they're illegal or not, I'm not even sure that they are, but basically you're joining a business that has no products whatsoever and so you're really just paying another member to be paying another member and then you have people paying you and that's called a cash gifting program. And that's not, again, I don't want to, I don't want to say whether that's illegal or not because I really don't know and I have to look that up. but I can tell you this, National Wealth Center has real products, real educational products that you're going to use, whether you want to improve yourself with our self-development package or your business development, um, you know, whether you're doing a bricks and mortar type business or if you want to improve your online business, whether that's with National Wealth Center or maybe you have a software company, maybe you do another network marketing business, whatever, you'll be able to improve upon your business using our business development package. Wealth Advantage Package, you can um, learn how to let your money grow for you. Do Forex marketing, um, things of that nature. You know, you work hard for your money, let your money work hard for you as well. So all these, and that's just the first three product levels, but we have real valuable, educational, all digital products that you're going to use, you're going to get instant access to as soon as you join the, Na the National Wealth Center business. So it's important to know you're getting something, you know, you're actually getting products with this. Now, I, you know, I do a lot of marketing to other marketers. I'm trying to look for people who want to be distributors, not just taking advantage and using the products, but people who want to be distributors and join my organization and I show them how to um, create that time and financial freedom from home. So a lot of my videos, I am reaching out to the network marketers, people who are looking to make money from home. 
Uh, but don't be confused, we do have real digital educational products of value that you will use once you get into the business. Uh, moreover, we also have a national savings center platform where you can save money on day-to-day -day things. Over 350,000 merchants nationwide, I've even used this outside of the US for hotels, but you're gonna save money on everyday things from oil changes to restaurants and groceries to bowling and movies and um, you name it, it's on there. So that's important to know that you are gonna get access to real educational products that you're going to be using to improve your life and your business. Now this is a legitimate concern that I think everybody should be asking and probably not enough people ask this. Um, is National Wealth Center gonna be here for a long time? Is this gonna be a flash in the pan type business? What is their what is their track record of success? How long have they been around? Have they have had other businesses that fail? Those are good questions that a lot of people don't even ask. Um, they're more concerned with whether this is a pyramid scheme, which they're probably already in one. Um, National Wealth Center's been around. The, the actual program, National Wealth Center in and of itself, um, started in June of 2014, so we've, the, the name National Wealth Center's been around for two years. It actually evolved from another program that used to be called Infinity Downline, which was around for seven and a half years prior to National Wealth Center. So we have a nine year, over nine year track record of success with this program alone. And the reason that it, for the name change is that we actually rebranded it, added better products, added an admin fee so we could have better website support, better customer support, um, all those good things that, that you know, the company had to start making some money because they weren't making anything because it's 100% commissions paid member to member. Um, so we added the admin fee of $9.95 a month. That way we could maintain the website. Um, we could have a level of customer support for members who have questions about anything. And even more important probably is that our parent company, Multiplex Systems, has been around for, I want to say 20, I want to say almost 20 years now, um, 18 or 19 years now. And they have had several programs over the years and not a single one of them have failed. And they are still either ongoing or transformed into something else. So it's important to know that we have an extremely rare but extremely successful track record in this industry. So you don't have to worry about this being a flash in the pan, uh, fly by night type of business. When you get in, you start building your organization, you know it's gonna be here for a long time to come. Um, our CEO himself, I mean, this is his baby. You know, there's other programs out there underneath the multiplex systems umbrella, but this is his baby. This is when he puts the most time, effort, and money back into. Um, and he said himself that we see this as being a 20, 25 year program minimum. And we've only been around, it's only had the name National Wealth Center for two years. So we're gonna be here for a long time to come, guys. So if you're looking at getting in with a business that's gonna be here um, for your future, this is, the, this is what you're looking for right here. All right, guys, so this video is just to be a brief explanation of the difference between a Ponzi scheme, pyramid scheme, uh, a scam. And, you know, I really feel like a lot of people throw these terms around not knowing uh, what they really mean. And another reason is that if you, if you see any videos of somebody saying that any network marketing opportunity is a scam, you know, a lot of these network marketing opportunities are not scams. What happens is people, you know, if they're not as successful as they hope to be in an opportunity, they have to blame somebody. And instead of blaming their self and their own efforts, um, they'll either blame their, their sponsor who they join with, they'll um, blame the company and just call it a scam. And you know, and that's only because they're, they're defending themselves. They have to find a justifiable reason of why they weren't successful. And instead of blaming themselves and how they didn't put a lot of effort into the business or stick through to the end, you know, they tend to blame the company itself and calling it a scam or calling their sponsor a scam or, or whatever instead of taking responsibility themselves. So it's unfortunate that people throw those terms around a lot, but um, I hope this video has been helpful to you to better understand what these different things are and what National Wealth Center is and how long it's going to be around. If you have any other questions about National Wealth Center or what I have to offer as a team, you know, stay tuned to these videos or get in touch with me. You can reach me using the contact details below this video. Otherwise, guys, uh, it's been fun. This is just day six. I got uh, 23 more days to go. So stay tuned for day number seven of my 30-day video marketing boot camp coming at you tomorrow. I'll see you guys then. Have a good one.